Right, so yeah, I, I'm, uh, I'm here from Switzerland. I, I work on the, uh, in the Atlas collaboration at the Large Hadron Collider and lecture at the University of Geneva. Um, now, why am I here or involved? Well, I have three little sons. And um, I remember when I was small, I had access to computing when I was six, and they don't. Um, and they don't have any uh, uh, way of learning how to program. So I thought, right, better do something about this. Anyway, so Alan's asked me to talk about two subjects today. One is the Magpie magazine, uh, which I write for occasionally. You'll probably see some articles by me. And the other subject this afternoon will be more along the lines of Raspberry Pi jams at CERN and, and what we're up to. So hopefully the guys with the projector can make <laughs> this screen show here. Because currently I can see the talk here. Yes or no? No. What, what can you tell us about without the slides? What can I tell you about? Right. Tell us about the magazine. I, I bet there's people here who haven't heard. Yeah. Oh, all right. So um, the the Magpie magazine is uh, a magazine for Raspberry Pi users. It was created by uh, by a small number of volunteers, and their idea was to host articles written by the community. So uh, we have several people out in the community who are very knowledgeable, people working in industry, uh, teachers. Ah, great, splendid. That's what has to happen, right. And, um, and so we basically wanted to uh, just allow those people to reach the community in a format which isn't going to be lost. Because you know yourself, if you're looking at blogs or web pages, you lose track of where that information was that you found if you didn't bookmark things carefully. Thanks, guys. Um, so anyway, this, this talk is quickly about the Magpie magazine. Um, right, slide number two. Okay, the talk, uh, a quick introduction of what the goals are of the magazine. Then we'll discuss uh, the, the content, what's actually in it, how it's distributed to people, uh, the team involved, and getting hold of printed copies. And last thing, the conclusion. Okay, so we've actually produced 10 copies. I joined the team at issue three, so I can't claim any involvement in issue one or two, except having to rework them for printing. Uh, so there you can see the covers of them, and they span all sorts of topics. So we start off with basic things like scratch, things that my sons could handle, and go out to more seasoned uh, developer articles. And, and the idea is really to have everything. So all the time to maintain that uh, connection with the community at all levels. Right, uh, the goals. Yeah, so the, the articles are written by the community and that's something that we really want to stick with. Uh, we want to encourage other people to learn. And there's really no point in writing an article unless it isn't going to encourage somebody. It has to be encouraging, it has to be pitched such that people can read it, whether those are introductory articles or more complicated ones. Yeah, and we, we, we keep an eye out on the forums and for things that are interesting that are going on and try and invite people to write things. But if you have something you want to write, please just step forward and write it. Uh, our content, well, we have interfacing <coughs> with electronics. Uh, we have had mostly uh, projects, sorry, mostly projects. Uh, we would like more tutorials in there on electronics, so if you want to write something on electronics, please uh, come forward. Uh, there are a basic set of instructions, interviews with people uh, you may know or have heard of from the Raspberry Pi forums. Competitions, you can win things like Raspberry Pis and other, other uh, accessories. Uh, there are some advertisements in there that helps us with their funding for the printing, but uh, we're trying to keep them relevant. And then finally, the programming. We have a series of Scratch, Python and C, and they are, or tend to be, try to be standalone. So if you don't know anything about C programming, you can start from issue one. In fact, the first issue C comes in is issue three, and read through and learn C programming. Uh, then we have mini-series on other languages, such as Ada, Assembly, Charm, SQL, and, and other things. Okay, this is a typical uh, scratch patch article. Uh, this was taken from issue 10. Uh, and the author of this, Mark, I guess he's here somewhere, maybe. Uh, you see here, in, in the magazine, we have the pieces of code, right? So it's all working code. You can clip out the code, code it yourself. We even uh, more recently started putting things into GitHub. So eventually, hopefully, we can package this. You can download it. But for now, you can type it in. And you see here, there's a fractal being generated with uh, a piece of scratch code. 
for the other languages, what we do is we write them in a tutorial style. So that means that you have pieces of working code with discussion around them. So here you can see this is from the C cave. This is Charm, a uh, language that runs on a uh, RISCOS. Um, and, and we really want to encourage people to type things in, to try them out. It's all about experimentation. If you can learn how to code things by hacking the code around, then you're going to get a kick out of it and remember what you did. Uh, right, the distribution. The magazine is free. We don't charge anything for it. The people involved are not paid. Um, it's available on the website, themagpie.com. You can download the PDF. Uh, it's also available on the App Store for iPhone and iPad. There's a great guy who's uh, helping us with that, the Android app, who's very busy uh, with that. We also have been printing them. Uh, I have a copy, uh, if you want to see uh, afterwards, in my bag down there. Um, and the idea of the copies is really to get them into the hands of children and other people. I, my sons, I wouldn't trust them with an iPad, but they'll be quite happy, you know, lying there, looking at a magazine, find out what to do with Scratch. So that's really what, what it's about. The other thing about printing is if we print en masse, our costs drop significantly, so we can deliver a nice magazine to somebody for uh, a little uh, cost overhead. So the magazine was founded by a small number of people, uh, Ash Stone, Jason Davies, Tim Cox and Chris Stagg. There are also a couple of other writers who've stuck with us since the very beginning. Uh, but we have a large turno turnover of volunteers. So these are people who have uh, done the layouts, they've designed the structure of the article, so we get the text and the pictures and then that goes into the format. People have done the graphics for things, other people have tested and we are very reliant on this, this volunteer influx. So if you wish to help, please come and help because that saves some of us from burning out. Um, yeah, that's pretty much everything on that slide. So on slide 10, translations. Uh, quite exciting that we have French translation team, German, Mandarin, Spanish, Italian and Serbian are underway. This relies on bilingual members and we try and interface with these guys all the time. The Kickstarter we, we, uh, we had a goal of raising funding and we wanted to raise £6,000 to print the first uh, eight issues and this was completely smashed. We uh, roughly got five times the funding and, and the PDFs uh, are in the final stages of preparation. The binders have been submitted, the print of the stickers have gone. So um, those of you who have been involved here, you should be receiving your magazines shortly. Uh, printed copies, yeah, the online readership is, you know, it's, we're talking about tens or hundreds of thousands of people out there. It's enormous. Uh, the printed copy level currently is about a thousand subscribers, but we've had other people requesting a bulk buys, you know, distributors such, so we, we're very encouraged by that. Uh, and the idea, as I said before, of the printed uh, copy is really to get it into the hands of children or, or people who might not come across uh, the magazine via the internet. So if they have a copy in their hand, they can see what it's about uh, and get on with it. Okay, so the conclusions of this talk. Uh, the Magpie is committed to reaching all levels of the community. We really want the input from everybody. So we had an article written by a dad of a, an eight-year-old boy, uh, and he was doing a bit of scratch, and that was great. Yeah, that was you, good. Um, and uh, that's something we really want to have. You know, Children writing little things, let's publish them, because that encourages other children. Two minutes, I'm almost done, that's the last slide. Um, and, and if you have uh, in mind, right, I'd love to be able to do that, uh, how do I do it? And maybe you can have a little go, somebody in the team might be able to finish the article off. We've got plenty of software engineers who've got experience behind them, but we sometimes run short on ideas. So um, yeah, we're on the lookout, as I said before, for ideas, for uh, people to write articles, and if you want to get in touch, the easiest way to do so is email the editor. That's it. Thanks.